modeling and simulation technology has really come a long way in recent years. The mining industry is specifically positioned to take advantage of these advancements towards optimizing system costs and improving process performance. Today, we will take a look at a few case studies on the application of dynamic simulation tools in the mining industry. We will provide a quick overview on dynamic simulation and then review three specific case studies of interest. So what is dynamic simulation? At a high level, it is a representation of a real-life system in a computer model and then executing that model to serve as a simulation of the system. It provides a means to show in great detail how a complex system works and specifically represent and test possible changes within that system. In mining, it can be used across the whole mining value chain to represent new or existing projects. Furthermore, it provides a means for decision makers to make confident and informed decisions regarding their operations, typically beyond the possibility of traditional static analysis. Dynamic simulation helps you visualize the system and its components. It provides the ability to incorporate various processes, tasks, schedules, and related information towards analyzing potential changes and conduct what-if analysis. You can effectively identify and address bottlenecks and problems in the system, specifically taking large amounts of information into consideration. Simulation can be applied to a wide range of applications in mining, from the operations at the face in an underground or surface mine, to material handling, processing, and storage. Another good example would be simulating the ore supply chain from the mine all the way to the customer, taking all the related variability into account. Furthermore, maintenance plans, equipment requirements, mine schedules, cut cycles, and numerous other activities can be efficiently analyzed through simulation. Traditional productivity and process improvement methodologies and tools will continue to be around. Simulation is considered as the next generation approach, enhancing the current capabilities and providing better decision making in short and long term. Simulation is rapidly developing towards supporting real-time decision support, enhancing both capital and operating plans. Simulation has the proven potential for significant cost savings and adding value to the bottom line. Mosumtech and Norbridge are two independent firms that have been partnering for a number of years to provide leading-edge dynamic simulation capability in the mining industry. Mosumtech's focused expertise in modeling and simulation, combined with Norbridge's management consulting and mining industry expertise, have proven successful in numerous projects. We have multiple years of modeling experience across both greenfield and brownfield projects. We've applied modeling and simulation to a range of mining processes and are intimately familiar with multiple best-of-breed software packages. Furthermore, we've worked across North America, South America, and Africa with clients in a range of commodities. Contact us to view a demonstration of developing a basic simulation model and learn more about some of the simulation tools available. With modeling and simulation, you take an existing or planned system and develop an abstract model of that system. You execute the model to represent a defined system configuration and extract the information of interest to learn more about that system. Ultimately, you use dynamic simulation to make informed decisions. That concludes the background on dynamic simulation. We will now review three case studies on different applications of modeling and simulation in mining. The first case study is the analysis of an underground mine material handling system. In this project, the customer is developing a new large-scale underground mine with continuous miners, a conveyor-based material handling system, underground storage capacity, and product hoisted to surface storage for processing. 
The customer is interested in ensuring that the new underground mine design is robust enough to meet expected needs and contingencies. Specifically, the customer wants to dynamically evaluate the capacity constraints and infrastructure, including detailed analysis of that infrastructure. In addition to the operating ranges, the analysis needs to reveal strengths, weaknesses, and bottlenecks of the system. We will briefly review the model development and have a look at the physical model animation. We will also look at the model output and key conclusions. A comprehensive object-based model is developed to represent the system from the mine face through material feed to the processing plant. This model incorporates key system data and process logic that capture the planned operation, including three-dimensional symbols representing the actual equipment to be deployed. Detailed verification and validation is performed to ensure the model is a precise representation. Output data is statistically analyzed to provide information about the material handling system. This is a video of the model as developed with Simio simulation software. We have a two-dimensional mine plan serving as the background, with continuous miners deployed throughout the system in defined positions representing the specific snapshot in the life of the mine. The miners each have unique attributes, cycles, and symbols that change color to visually represent the current status. The miners feed raw product into a network of extensible, panel, block, and mainline conveyors of varying capacities. The product flow is directed based on resource availability and eventually collect in underground storage to be hoisted to the surface by a set of skips with a defined schedule. On the surface, product is allocated to different raw surface storage units. The model boundary is the feed rate from storage into the different process trains. We will look at some of the key outcomes from this study. Firstly, we are able to accurately identify the number of miners that represent the sweet spot for operating. Too many miners in operation lead to inventory buildup, and too few miners lead to starving the process plant. Identifying the optimal number of miners ensures the system is operating at a sustainable rate. Secondly, the model provides a detailed view of the dynamic system components working together. Specifically, we are able to look at key conveyor units and review production surge through that conveyor. With downstream capacity limitations, we analyze different coordination strategies between deployed production units and the effective flow rate exceeding the downstream capacity. This provides a means for optimizing the production strategy and the physical belt sizing. Scenario analysis, or simply what-if analysis, is a valuable feature of modeling and simulation. Here we look at different production rates across different operating schedules, and are able to extract key performance indicators and related statistics for each scenario. We are able to confidently conclude that conveyor capacity is sufficient to handle higher production rates. Also, this analysis provides valuable insight into the efficient operating range of equipment at desired levels of operation. Modeling and simulation provide informed insight on how to move forward most effectively. Specifically, we are able to conclude a cut in the planned number of miners whilst retaining the desired throughput, a significant savings in capital and operating expenditure. The analysis confirms planned conveyor and storage capacity as adequate. Furthermore, the simulation model provides detailed insight on resource schedules and sensitivity analysis of key assumptions. The second case study involves the design of a complex supply chain. Essentially, we are looking at a system that takes the final product from processing plant storage at the mine to the end customer across a complex supply chain involving conveyor, rail, and port infrastructure. The requirement is to evaluate the supply chain to test performance under a range of different situations, events, and constraints. The risks, 
bottlenecks and their potential impacts on the system are furthermore important. We develop a model to represent the key processes from finished product storage to open ocean, including empty return transport of unit trains. Analytics form a key part of the analysis, with an exhaustive list of metrics captured and reported. This partial list is a subset of the million-plus data points collected for the entire system. This is a video of the model as developed with Simio simulation software. We have the mine and processing plant serving domestic and international customers, including access to U.S. domestic locations and west and east coast ports. Dynamic inventory levels are tracked and reported, amongst others. Although visualization is not a key requirement for this analysis, basic three-dimensional visualization is incorporated to support validation and communication. Finished product is transported over a long distance by multiple Class I railroads and finally stored at the port. The model incorporates variability in weather patterns, taking into account historic data for the region, which then influences the operations. For instance, ship loading is delayed during specific levels of precipitation. The model provides invaluable insight into the system working together as a whole. From a capital expenditure viewpoint, the analysis revealed the possibility to reduce and delay investment in train sets across production ramp-up in early years, significantly impacting CapEx. The configuration based on static analysis would yield the same production results, but at a cost. This is a good example of modeling and simulation providing the opportunity to make an informed and confident decision for moving forward quickly. The analysis also highlighted the opportunity to reduce planned storage and timing thereof. As production ramps up, the planned capacity for storage can be staggered and even decreased in the long term, improving CapEx. The third case study is focused on visualization as opposed to analytics, yet having that visualization of operations driven by an analytical model. The customer is operating a large open pit mine with truck and shovel operation in a remote area. Product is processed at a concentrator facility at the mine site, after which it is loaded onto B-train container trucks for long distance transport to a transload terminal for further transport by train for final processing. Eventually the product is then distributed to domestic and international customers. The primary requirement for this study is to use simulation for stakeholder communication and a basis for informed decision-making. An analytical model with 3D animation interface is used to develop a dynamic model of planned operations. This model visualizes the entire mining value chain, including face operations, loading of primary crusher, concentrator processing, product storage, container loading and transport, container unloading, loading onto trains, both manifest and unit trains, rail yard operations, processing plant, and port operations. The model provides a holistic view of the system components as a whole and supports the understanding of the future state of the system for all stakeholders involved. The analysis yields both qualitative and quantitative insights. This visual communication to both internal and external stakeholders gets them excited about the project and obtains their buy-in. This is critical for future success of any large long-running engagement. Furthermore, the model provides feasibility level validation and a means for confidently assessing the system options. This is a video of the model as developed with Simio simulation software. Here we are looking at the trucks conveying product from the pit to either raw ore stockpiles or to primary crusher. The number of trucks, 
travel time, load time, and related properties are all configurable. The infrastructure rendered here are actual engineering drawings of the real system, providing an accurate representation of the future state of the system. Product is then loaded into containers and transported by truck to the transload facility. Not shown here, but key infrastructure, e.g. bridge crossings and road service units, are also modeled. Rail yard operations both here and at the processing plant are modeled providing a glimpse into the feasibility of the design, both in terms of number of equipment deployed and site layout. Modeling and simulation has come a long way in recent years, and the opportunities for both offline and real-time decision support utilizing simulation is prevalent, especially in mining. Traditionally, simulation models are developed to make one-time decisions based on the model output and the model itself is shelved. Technology is evolving such that the initial investment in model development can be repurposed by connecting the model to enterprise and management information systems, serving as a real-time decision support tool. This changes the game in terms of competitive advantage. To learn more about the application of modeling and simulation in mining, contact us today. Thank you.